Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to automatically sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so here I am inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. This feature should be available across a variety of different versions of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're on a different version, you will likely still have this feature available. As we can see, I've pulled together a few clips here. We have a clip of me talking. This was recorded for my Sony FX3. And then we have a video screen recording, and this was recorded using OBS. Okay, so I have two separate recordings and two separate audio tracks linked to each, although they are the same audio. And so, Typically, you might sort of line this up and, and see if you can get it correctly that way. And then you have to zoom in and kind of make minuscule adjustments. And it can also be hard to identify the correct part of the audio that should even line up. And so lucky for us, DaVinci Resolve has a great feature that allows us to automatically sync the audio. There are going to be two methods for this, and one of them is timecode and the other is waveform. So timecode, if you're unfamiliar, is basically a feature that would allow you to sync up cameras easily in post-production using metadata. This metadata would then be interpreted by the software, which would allow us to sync the audio. Now, most people that are using timecode are going to be in production, and so you might have timecode running on you know, multiple cameras or multiple audio devices. But in a lot of cases, you will not have timecode, and in this case, I do not have timecode. So I'm just gonna simply select my two tracks. If you have three tracks or four tracks, you can sync all of them up at the same time as well. We're going to right click and hit auto align clip. And then here we have our time code option. So we could try to use the time code to sync it. Uh, but I'm going to use the waveform. Now, before I proceed with that, let's just show you guys what the waveform looks like. So the waveform is going to be represented by these visual sort of increases and decreases in audio. So this is our waveform. And so again, with these both selected, I'll hit auto align clips and I'll hit waveform. And I can use a certain number of track as my reference track. In this case, it probably doesn't matter. Um, I'll leave it as track number one and I'll press sync. As we can see, our audio has automatically been synced. And this is a huge time saver. One thing that's important to note with this is that yes, it will get your audio pretty much aligned. However, if you want it absolutely perfectly aligned, you will actually still have to make a small manual adjustment in some cases. So this is just important to know. I always like to listen to test and see how it sounds or you can simply zoom all the way in and as we can see, it looks like the bottom waveform is maybe a little bit to the right. And so in this case, I would turn off my magnetic timeline and maybe make some minuscule adjustment here. And it looks like it was already aligned pretty much perfectly. So there we have it. Hopefully that can save you several minutes or potentially even hours of syncing audio in the future. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, please drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topics. If you have any ideas of your own, we strongly encourage you to let us know in the comments. Most requested video topics get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.